So a while back at the South by Southwest Sonic panel, alongside Sonic Mania Plus, they teased a brand new racing game. While many of us have theorized that this is a new Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, as well as maybe a new Sonic R, Aaron Weber confirmed that it is not a sequel to any previous Sonic racing game. So all evidence now points to the rumor that this is a Sonic-only racing game made by Sumo Digital, which is the same people that made the All-Star Racing titles. So with this in mind, the big question is how many characters from Sonic's past will be in this game? Well, I'm Silver Channel, and this is my speculation list for characters in this new Sonic Racing title. So before we start this list, we have to look back at the All-Stars Racing rosters, considering we're pretty sure Sumo is making this game as well. So including DLC and exclusive characters, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing had 25 characters, while Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform had 33 characters. With this in mind, I'm guessing that this new Sonic Racing game will have anywhere from 30 to 35 characters. Now, of course, who will these characters be? Well, to start things off, I'd say it's a safe bet that every Sonic character from the previous All-Stars Racing titles will be in this game. This includes the likes of Sonic, Dr. Eggman, Amy, Metal Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, and even Big the Cat. So that's already 8 characters. The other obvious ones are the main cast that was featured in both generations and forces. This would add Cream, Rouge, Omega, Vector, Espio, Charmy, Silver, and Blaze, which would put the roster up at 16 characters. Now this is the point where I think Sumo can get really creative, so I've decided to go down the list of main series modern titles and list characters I think could possibly be in the game. So let's start off with the Adventure titles. While I don't see anyone from SA2 that hasn't been mentioned making the cut, there are some Adventure 1 characters that would be cool to see. First up, of course, is Chaos Zero. Now, Chaos is obvious since he was in Sonic Forces, even though he didn't do much, and he's also a fan favorite. Other than him, we have both t Call and E-102 Gamma. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would be the first appearance of either of these characters since Sonic Adventure in the main titles, so it would be cool to see them return. Now while we're talking about this time in Sonic's history, let's look back at the GBA games, specifically Sonic Battle and the Advanced series. The only new characters I can see from these titles are Emerald and Gemerald. And while we're definitely not going to get both, I think we'll have at least one of these two robots. So we don't see anyone from Sonic Heroes or Shadow the Hedgehog making the list, so let's jump ahead to Sonic 06. Now while some of you may say Sega does not want to bring up 06 ever again, this did not stop Silver from returning in future games. So I could easily see a fan favorite Mephilus show up in this game, although he probably is one of the less likely. Next will be the last gen Sonic titles, however I don't think we'll be seeing any characters from Unleash, Colors, or the Storybook series, and we've already covered Generations, so that just leaves us with Lost World and Sonic Forces. So for Lost World I think it's obvious we'll be getting the leader of the Deadly Six, Zabok especially since he was in Sonic Forces, including a boss. And speaking of Sonic Forces, the most obvious character would be Infinite, who is almost guaranteed to be in this game. So now that we've covered those titles, we've went from 16 to 23 characters. So for the last few, we'll just name some random characters I think could have a chance of making an appearance. So first up, let's talk about some classic characters. Now the two I think have a pretty good chance of being added are Mighty and Ray, since they will both be making their return this year thanks to Sonic Mania Plus. Other than them, another group of characters I think could make an appearance because of their return to Mania are the Hooligans, aka Knack slash Fang, Bean, and Bark. So these five characters bring us up to 28 characters. Now there are three more characters I think would be perfect for this game, and they are the Babylonians from the Sonic Riders games. Now Sonic Riders is another big Sonic Racing series, however we probably won't be seeing another game anytime soon because of this very game. And these three fan favorites, Jet, Wave, and Storm, are of course known for using their extreme gear rather than normal vehicles. However, I think they could still use their extreme gear in this game. Now let me explain. Even if this game has the same transform mechanic as they did in All-Stars Racing Transform, the extreme gear has transformed for riding on water and in air in the Riders games before. So they would work perfectly in this game and would be a really nice addition for Riders fans. So now we are at 31 characters, and while that's plenty as it is, let's go ahead and make it to 35. First up, I think we could easily see Classic Sonic in this game, whether the fans ask for it or not. Alongside Classic Sonic, I think we'll see the return of a custom character, whether it's your me on your Switch or your custom hero if you have a Sonic Forces save file on the system, we'll see this gimmick return in some form. Finally, we have the last two characters. So for one slot, I was stuck between four different characters. First there was the reason that I did not mention the Rush games earlier. These were Marine and Eggman Nega, however I don't really see them being added to this game. The second was Honey and the Cat, but I feel like we need to see her in Mania before she ends up making it into the modern titles. 
So that left, left me to choose none other than Styx the Badger. Now while she may be a boom character, Styx was in the Mario and Sonic Green Olympics game, and even at the South by Southwest panel, they mentioned how Styx is a very popular character at Sega, so I definitely could see her in this game. Finally, let's talk about the R in the teaser of this game. Of course, that's from the game Sonic R from the Sega Saturn. And what's that game known for? None other than the Tails doll. And without a doubt, I feel like we'll get to see this creepy doll's return in this game, floating all around the tracks just like before. So that is my list of the characters for this new Sonic Racing game. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for more and follow me on Twitter for updates, as well as join our Discord server down in the description below if you want to hang out with me and a bunch of other cool people. With that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.